Party's over, Brad. I know what you did. You know what I did? Because uh, you should narrow it down, because I do a lot of things for you. In fact, I could do something for you. you Don't play just... dumb. I know you tried to blackmail a straight boy into bed. What are you doing here? I wanted to tell you in person that Morgan and I are getting married. Yeah, I know. AJ told me last night. So, uh, congratulations. When's the wedding? No, I haven't seen Kiki this morning. I was just calling her. She didn't pick up. I thought maybe she was still sleeping. Well, no, she wasn't in the boathouse when I woke up. I figured she came up here for breakfast. And I ran into the dominator. She said that she hasn't seen her either. You don't think she went to the hospital, do you? I mean, it's possible. Because she what was... if she runs into Silas, Morgan? And what if Silas starts asking questions? And what if he realizes that Franco is not her father? He is. Why are you being like this? What do you want me to say? You and I can't be together. So marrying Morgan will put an end to us. So you proposed to Morgan to get over me? No, I didn't propose to him. He asked me. When Morgan left me... At Kelly's yesterday, he was furious with the both of us because I told him that we kissed. Yeah, no kidding. I was expecting a fight when I found Morgan, and instead he dropped down on one knee and proposed to me. How, how did Morgan go from being furious to fiancé? I have no idea. All your buddy Silas has Silas to do is Silas Clay is not my buddy. In fact, I doubt he's ever been described that way by anybody, and for good reason. Yeah, okay, well, Mr. Not-Your-Buddy Silas, all he has to do is ask Kiki how old she is and boom, our secret's out. He's gonna realize that you lied to him about Kiki's age, everything's gonna sync up, and then he's gonna tell Kiki that he's her dad. And then Kiki, she's gonna realize that Michael's not her cousin and that they can get together. Yes, Morgan, this has all occurred to me. Well, you were supposed to take care of the Silas family. I am. I just ha haven't gotten a plan in place quite yet. Well, I gotta marry Kiki and fast before everything hits the fan. I'm all for that. Okay. Then you won't mind letting me borrow your card again so I can snag this rock for Kiki's finger. <sighs> you're lucky you're cute. You think she'll like it? I think she'll love it. Thanks, Mom. <sighs> I mean, this is guaranteed to keep Kiki away from Michael. I don't know what you're insinuating. See, I don't look at people in terms of gay or straight. People are just people to me. Save it. Michael Corinthos told me everything. You tried to coerce him into spending the evening with you. Oh, he should be so lucky. But then you backed off, and I know why. Michael overheard you conspiring with the bridge, and I bet it had something to do with P. Diddy. Sean Puff Daddy Combs? Patrick Drake. No, but after you told me that Morgan went looking for me to talk about the kiss, I went to go find Morgan. I looked in the boathouse, I looked in the main house, and that's where he found me. And I immediately told him that I knew that he knew about our kiss. And what'd he say? Michael, he wouldn't even let me explain. He, for some God only knows reason, got down on one knee and proposed to me. And you said yes? It's for the best, Michael. We can't keep doing this. We can't keep having feelings for each other like this. I. I need to move on, and you need to move on. Right? Michael, are you coming back to... Oh, you've got company. So you think I'm scheming with Westbourne? Why? Because I treat her with kindness and common decency, while you, Sabrina, and the father of Rich Child all treat her like something on the bottom of your shoe? Man, spare me. You're doing some magic with the Witch of the Westbourne in that lab, which is why she made you the manager and not Ellie Trout. Maybe you did help her fake Kate Middleton's disease, but she's dropped that act already. So when Michael overheard you scheming with the Bridge, it must have been about the paternity of the child. You two tampered with the test to make it look like Patrick's the daddy when he isn't. Am I warm? More like hot. Admit it. On well, my next stop will be to our chief of staff, Dr. Monica Quartermain, and I'll tell her that she tried to blackmail her grandson. No, I don't think it will, Fifi. Why not? Because then I'll tell him, Dr. Q that her innocent widow grandson Michael is banging his own cousin. Kiki, this is Penny. Penny, this is this is Kiki, uh my cousin. Oh, your cousin. 
Oh, for a minute there, I thought you were the girl Michael's trying so hard to get over. How awkward would that have been, right? Right. Listen, I gotta go. What? Can you wait? Go oh, with me. You're obviously busy. I wasn't gonna bring Penny home last night, okay? Then I thought you and Morgan are getting married. I didn't see. Okay, Penny you're was... moving on too, right? That's great. Go and enjoy. I have to see my dad. Michael's banging Kiki. Sorry, dude. Banging might have been too strong a word, but I did catch your pervy bro kissing his cuss. You you caught them where? In the exam room. Uh, walked right in on him. You almost did too. Wait, when was this? What difference does it make? No, it doesn't. Because Kiki and I are getting married. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you get off on making everyone's life miserable? No, but I am getting off on this. Felix, don't. You'll be the one to get in trouble. But it'll be so worth it. No, Felix. No. <sighs> Crawl back to the lab so I don't have to see you. You okay? Do I look okay? It's not bad enough that every day I come to work, it's like a haunted house, and instead of some guy with an axe lurking around a corner, it's Brad making some sleazy comment or, or spying on me in the damn shower. It's not bad enough that that rodent is, is conspiring with Dr. West now. These are his ordinary, everyday activities, and now he's stepped up his game. What? What did he do this time? He's trying to blackmail some kissing cousins. Brad tried to blackmail Michael Corinthos? Oh my God, that's disgusting. Vile, pathetic, revolting, and the list of appropriate adjectives goes on. Well, I'm glad that Michael turned Brad's blackmail around on him. I knew I liked that boy. Okay, so this conversation that Michael overheard between Britt and Brad, you think it's about the paternity test? Absolutely. How do we find out for sure? I'm gonna head out. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna head out too, actually. It seemed intense between you and your cousin. I feel like I walked in on something. Uh, and this is Kiki's, uh, her dad's in the hospital and, and, and it's really tough on her. Wh Why are they going into your dad's room? I don't know. Why well, haven't you been here all morning? Franco? What are you doing here? Where are you going? I'm having a little surgery. A little surgery? You don't need to worry. I... I got someone looking out for me. She already saved my life once. She's kind of my secret weapon. What's going on? Why do you need surgery? So that I can be a dad. Okay. Dad. Well, just like that, you make it worth it. I'm sorry, we need to go. Is he going to die? So my dad's going to die. Patrick is a brilliant surgeon. I've seen him work miracles. And that's what he needs, a miracle? Well, the size and the placement of the tumor makes it extremely risky. Oh my God. Hey, hey, <gasps> I'm sorry, baby. Morgan, I just started to get to know him. What if he dies? Then we'll handle it together, <sighs> okay? I'm here for you now. I always will be now that I'm your fiance. What did you say? Uh, Mom, I, I, I'm sorry, I just, it, things have been crazy, so I haven't had the chance to tell you, but Kiki and I are getting married. I'll see you around. Or not. Bye, Michael. Bye. Felix! <laughs> oh, uh, the best I expected when I introduced you two last night was some flirty banter. I guess you two really hit it off. At least for one night we did. Uh -huh. I'll see you at work. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, you got game. Cool. I'm <laughs> guessing you didn't stop by here to see if Penny and I are a match made in heaven, so what are you, what are you doing here? I didn't come over to see if you and Penny rocked the paint off the walls. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off defensive. <sighs> Obviously, you're a gentleman. I approve. Otherwise, I wouldn't have introduced you to Penny. The last thing I need is a co-worker who's uh, holding a grudge because of a bad date. Well, Penny's... Penny's nice. I'm glad you think so. Uh, and since it seems like I did you a favor, I think the timing's right for me to ask for one in return. And what is that? I need your help. <laughs>